Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to some more Space Engineers. Today's episode is brought to you by Cello Fellow. Or it could be Cello Fellow. Or it could be Cell of Fellow. But, uh, or Cell of Ello. Um, I'm pretty sure it's, it's Cello Fellow, though. I like the instrument, a cello. But he wants me to make a kind of like a almost like a melee ship a ramming ship uh, the trident class uh, destroyer so a destroyer is going to be two to four thousand tons um, hmm and I think I think I kind of have an idea so let's go ahead and get started and you know what if you have a request of a ship you'd like to see designed and a purpose for it, let me know in the comments. And if you see one you like, go ahead and upvote it. And if I like the one that gets the most upvotes, maybe I'll try making it. And we'll turn this into a request series. Uh, that could be kind of cool. Alright, let's take a crack at laying down a foundation. There we go. Now... Let's see if we can make some tines. There we go. That looks like something I would not want ramming into a ship I cared about. So that's all solid heavy armor block, by the way. Uh, I think that's the most durable thing I have access to. Heavy armor, slope. Uh, I have no idea. Well, wait a minute. See what what's what 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 in the world are these things up here? I don't even know. I don't even like what it what in the world? What even is this? Let me take these off here. I wonder how practical it would be to just leave it uh flat. I don't know. That looks slightly menacing. So apparently the Oh it adapts! Look at that. It changes. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, this is this is a uh, it's kind of nice. I'm a fan of these. Oh man. Look at that point right there. Whack. It's going to mess somebody up. Okay, now. We've got the points. Uh, now these are designed to, once it's punctured, these are designed to hook in and uh, get stuck in there. Now, you might want to, you might want to be able to pull back and like ram them again uh, and you totally could uh, but at the same time I think it's important to be able to hook in there and disengage and and then basically make the trident a a base because you're probably gonna die the interior turrets so you want to basically get wedged in the in the ship and then uh, get stuck on there and be able to climb out. In fact, in fact, that's actually an excellent reason to maybe. There we go. All right. Now we need the middle tine. Now the middle tine consists of weaponry intended to blast a hole into the hapless enemy ship. And it's a trident, so it still needs a middle middle prong. There we go. That looks pretty menacing. If you saw that coming at you, uh, I don't know. It's kind of scary. The two uh, weaponized prongs stab into the enemy ship. And hopefully uh, you get a nice little... Uh, 
they burrow in a few blocks, hopefully around about like right here. This would be the perfect depth. And then you could just run up on if if the gravity's available, you can just run run down here and charge inside after blowing a hole into the thing with these rocket launchers. And to help your assault and to be used as cover in case there's people there shooting at you, you can hide behind these and use them as cover. Uh, but they can also mow down enemy personnel to aid in your in your you know puncturing into the enemy hull and assaulting it. So you got your turrets here now. Uh, I need to get back inside here, so I'm gonna head on in like this. I'm just gonna make a hole for now. It's like bang all over the place. All right, so here are the doors. Uh, I think I kind of want to do something like maybe that. Uh, actually, this is a fine spot for the side doors. That ended up being perfect. Uh, doors here. So this chamber is where you... Oh, I didn't get a door. I didn't get a door. Uh, hall, bulkhead, excuse me, bulkhead. So airlock's right here. Uh, got all the feeding here for the weapons. Um, I wish there was like an armored conveyor block. That'd be kind of nice. That didn't, that like, basically the sides of it were armor and only w the two ends were conveyor. Kind of like an, basically an armored conveyor tube. Like that, but heavy armor all around it, basically. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, all right. Uh, now let's do some supporting structures back here. Okay, we've got some interior stuff done. We've got interior turrets, lighting, antenna, reactors, arc furnace assembler for basic manufacturing. Uh, I think any capital class ship should have at least an arc furnace and assembler, unless it's a gunboat. Uh, gravity generator, medical bay, remote control, uh, cockpit, backup cockpit, main cockpit's right here. You can see the uh, you can see the marine deck where all the passengers would be, so you can watch them depart. Uh, there's what she looks like from the outside so far, and. Got some doors here. Uh, thing is littered with interior turrets. Uh, if the assault goes poorly and you need to fall back, and, and they chase you back into this ship, it's not going to go too well for them. Uh, yeah, there's interior turrets everywhere. Uh, very compact ship. Uh, like with most designs, I've tried to hide the squishy internal parts that are important, like the reactors and the medical bay and all that stuff. It's back here behind thick layers of heavy armor. So basically, you can, with, without a care in the world, drive the front of this ship full speed into an enemy vessel like you're supposed to. And uh, the really important stuff towards the rear ought to be okay. I do need to add a blueprint projector so that it can, you can come in with a construction ship and just immediately heal the thing and get everything repaired. There. Now how heavy are you? Oh, the remote control, you know what the remote control needs to be? It needs to be in its own group here. Uh, the reason for that is that you can quickly take control of it from up here. Uh, to, yeah, yeah, okay. We're in the weight class of a destroyer, I think. Let me just double check. Oh, pardon me. The frigate is 1.5. Uh, it, the frigate is 1,500 ton to 3,000 ton, and the destroyer is 3,000 tons to 5,000 tons. Uh, by the time we get done with the thrusters, I think we'll be uh, right into a... Uh, light destroyer. Alright. So now we need the other smaller thrusters. Uh, backup thrust here. You you gotta go, man. You got you got stuff to kill. Uh, you can't be can't be loafing around. 
Uh, we need more power now. But, I have to say, that's actually a really impressive strafing speed for a craft of that size. Alright, let's uh, come in here now. Let's see. Could definitely use some more reactors. There we go. I added some more side-to-side -side thrust because I thought it could use just a little bit more. And I added another five power generators and three gyros uh, in the middle there, right under there. Oh, there we go. Off we go. Uh, I want to say that's pretty quick. Apparently my spacesuit's broadcast range is only 200 meters. Great. That's fine. Uh, Alright, cameras. We need cameras. Could probably use a rear camera here. And maybe one of these. For the heck of it. Because I find that funny. Maybe a second one, because why not? <laughs> Try to come in from behind and just get wrecked. Uh, maybe a forward mounted camera right here, up top. Maybe one of these forward, maybe this one won't get like instantly destroyed. And then maybe some more up here. This is a very dangerous area. Is there any decent spot where a camera might live for more than two seconds? Uh, maybe here and here? If they're offset to the side, maybe they'll live longer and won't get instantly killed. Alright. It's actually pretty decent forward firepower. Eight rocket launchers in the middle there. Uh, now we probably ought to add some secondary weapons. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe two Gatling turrets to protect against meteors and other threats just as, you know, a bare minimum. These are obviously not meant to. I don't want to face. I don't want to facing that way. Turn around. Damn it! There we go. Uh, so now she's more protected. What is that? Okay. So now she has some meteor protection there feel slightly better. And I'm going to leave them low, flushed with the hull. I'm not going to... I usually build up that little, you know, bump that lets them protrude slightly. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I want them... Uh, I want them even here. I, I really don't want this thing being too wide, basically, is what I'm going for here. Uh, where's the automatic curvature? Uh, looks like it can't adapt to that. It can adapt to some stuff, though, but not that. No, it doesn't... Okay, so the the adaptability is limited. You can't ask it to do totally crazy stuff. Uh, that's not terrible. I probably am going to want that inverted block, though. Oh, where's that inverted block? Is there, isn't there an inverted heavy armor 1x2 tip smooth... What is this? Yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. Uh, there we go. Do I want to put something here? Anything here? I don't think so. Uh, well, actually go for three more of those. 
since the ship is getting a bit heavier. Okay. I think we're done. There we go. Uh, I do need to paint her, though. Let's see. Uh, that's the wrong gray, for one. Well, I'm pretty sure the tips have to be menacingly red. You gotta paint the tips red. Like blood. Uh, as far as the rest, I don't know. Maybe give it some stripes towards the rear, around where the grip would be. And you grip the thing and then just stab your enemy with it. That was easy. <laughs> cool! So we've got some backup weapons, we've got the primary weapons, we need... wait a minute, we're not done. We need a way to dock this thing and top off the ammunition supply. There we go. I found a decent spot. Mounted midline, slightly protruding. Hidden behind the main prongs up front. Alright. So now it can refuel itself. Sweet. Uh, cameras are operational. I kind of want a camera right here. Yeah, I know. It's probably going to get killed. But I still like having a camera mounted in the middle. Uh, I think all that's left to do is to set up the uh, set up the projection controls for the projector, because uh, I always want to do them, and probably going to turn down the default gravity a bit. Oh, hello. Nope, not like that. Yeah, point three is fine. There we go. Point three. All right, and let me just conjigger the controls real quick, the default ones. All right. So I have the cockpits configured. The backup cockpit has all the projector controls. The forward cockpit controls more of the uh, attack stuff. Uh, I snuck in a few more forward thrusters. She's got uh, huge amounts of forward thrust now, so that you can ram the crap out of stuff. Uh, and I think at this point, the Trident class is done. Uh, let's bring her back here. Uh, rear acceleration is still pretty good. Not as good as the forward one. But that's just because the forward thrust is just ridiculous. I've stuck so many thrusters facing forward here. Uh... Yeah, she stops on a dime. Alright. So I think that's about it. Uh, the blueprint. I guess I could go ahead and... Well, let's go ahead and take a picture of her. Alright. That's a cool looking ship. The Trident class. So... I'm kind of thinking of taking a different looking picture. Uh, because it's a trident, right? Right? I mean, shouldn't it look like a trident in the picture? I'm just saying. I mean, I know that doesn't show off the entire ship, but really, the whole ship is just in order to support this forward area here. So let's take a picture of it. We're going to have a nice trident picture here. Boop! There we go. Uh, where's the destroyer at? Crowbar class. Trident class. 
<laughs> it's a, it looks like it's just a trident sticking up. I love that. Okay. Uh, now, I'm, gonna, I'm about to overwrite that blueprint. And here's how and why. Uh, I've got to go engage the projector. Let's see. And I may actually stick some armor on right here. Probably doesn't need it, but what the hell. There we go. But yeah, I snuck on uh, some extra thrusters. Uh, so let's go address the blueprints here in the projector. Alright, so you can see the projector controls are right there. We're going to go ahead and assign the projector to be its own group projector because it needs to appear at the top of the list up here so it's easy to find. Blueprints, we're going to assign it the Trident class blueprint. 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 Okay. There she is. Now we're going to utilize these and we're going to tell it to, what we want to tell it to is keep the projection on. And now, position that. Okay, there we go. Is it up one? Damn it, it's up one, isn't it? Did I get it? Is it, is it in there? Uh, where'd my projection go? Anybody see it? Oh, there it is. I was turning the thing on and off. Huh, my bad. Four and five is what I want. Oh, four. I'm a doofus. There we go. Okay, the, proje the projection has already been uh, pre-done for you. So you can turn it on, and the projection should be on there. And so what I have to do now is... Alright, I'll turn it off by default and step out of the vehicle. Uh, the exit is up here. So what that does, now that I've pre-done the projection for you, it'll just make it easier when you do it. Yourself, uh, let's control C. I'm going to copy it, and then hit escape, then hit F10. Then I'm going to overwrite this, replace with the clipboard version. Yep. And there you go. So now the uh, the Trident class has a pre-positioned and preset blueprint of itself saved with itself. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, now there's only one thing left to do at this point. I, I think you guys know what that is. Uh, I'm gonna grab now that it's a now that it's a saved blueprint. Oh, let's see. Do I have anything I could use? What is, what is that? What is this? I'm gonna click OK on whatever this is. I don't know what this is. Man, that took a long time. What what is that? Let's back off and give it plenty of room. I don't want my ship and whatever I'm about to spawn in shooting at each other. Alright, control V. Uh, the game froze. Oh, there it is. The hell's that? I don't even know what this thing is. It's some thing from the more ships package that just, uh, I found and then decided to grab. It's called the Democritus. Let me take a look at it real quick. Well, it's certainly got some some turrets here. It's definitely not a hurricane. Uh, definitely got plenty of antennas sticking out. That's a that's a lot of antennas, man. I don't. I hope it's worth the power consumption. Interesting design. Putting the gyroscopes on the outside. I wonder what kind of ship this is supposed to be. Uh, ship packed with crap loads of turrets is is what I'm getting here. 
Um, before I wreck the thing, let's take a peek inside. Plenty of turrets here. Oh, cool. It's uh, got a little hangar bay, I guess. There's some cargo, medical bays. Well, this is a this is a nice design. I think I like this more than the lack of Damon. Uh, looks like we've entered an engineering deck. Yeah, some sort of engineering deck. Packed with tons of gyroscopes all over the place. And also plenty of interior turrets. They really... See, this is the kind of ship I need to be fighting against in my survival world. Okay, well... I assume the bridge is up here somewhere. Somewhere. It's really dark in here. Very monotone, too. Could use uh, interior lights, I think. Personally. Uh, this looks to be a backup bridge. So how's the speed on this thing? What a gas guzzler. Oh my gosh. pretty cool. I like the design. I'm kind of excited to start uh, making big ships. What is this thing? Twenty. This thing is 25,000 tons. This is several times heavier than just about anything I've made yet. Uh, it's definitely a gas guzzler, I'll give it that. So I'm going to turn off the dampeners and I'm going to make it move. We're going to go one point, well just one meter per second. Uh, I'd like a moving target if possible. And I'd really like to get out of here. Uh, nuke reactors. How do I get out of here? I'm about ready to just tunnel my way out. Out the back. Sorry. We're going out. Okay, we're out. Alright, let's get back aboard the trident, trident here. All right, we're aboard the Trident. Uh, we're facing down the USE Democritus. Um, and we don't have that much in the way of secondary weaponry. But you know what we do have? We have a crap load of primary weapons. Which I'm going to use. Uh, this ship has ridiculous amounts of uh, forward firepower. I will use on my way in here to just blast the Democritus into submission. And I lost... I like how I've lost all forward cameras already. Well, that's okay. Well, we're gonna ram like we're supposed to here. Alright, let's line ourselves up with the enemy ship. And I'm not going to hold back. I'm just going in. Guns blazing. We're not stopping. Suck it! Ah, oh my god, look at where this go. Oh my gosh. Wow. I impaled them. I didn't intense I didn't mean to do that. It looks like I made the thing too good.
All right, let's head out. Let's get out of the cockpit and try and get our bearings here. I, I think I needed to go slower. Honestly, maybe I needed to go slower. Well, we're definitely inside the Democritus now. We're definitely hooked inside of it. The ships are banging around together. This is nuts. Ah! And me with no assault rifle in my hand, I have no way to defend myself against these uh, interior turrets. But I have to say, for a ship like what? It's... 3,000 tons versus something that's pushing, what was it, like 30,000 or so? I think? You know what? She's still responding. I think she's got some fight left in her. Considering I'm a, a small fraction of the weight class of the Democritus here, I think I whooped the thing's ass. The initial rocket barrage was impressive enough, and I friggin' impaled- Did you see my ship come out the other side? <laughs> it's trying to just friggin' impale the thing! Ramming speed again. Wow, it's actually- it's actually kind of intact. Look at that. Am I pushing the thing? I think I'm pushing the thing. I appear to be. Are any cameras still uh, operational? Not a damn one of them. The rear, the rear camera. Fantastic. Well, let's back her up, and let's align my astronaut. I'm going to take remote control again. Their uh, their Gatling cannons are chattering away, but it matters not. It does not make any bit of difference to the Trident. I'm gonna put the dampeners on, reorient the ship. Look at this, it's just, it's flaming, but it don't care. It's like, I should I should rename this thing the Honey Badger. This is the Honey Badger of uh, space engineers. Space engineers here. Hey, Democritus, guess what? You're about to get your ass whooped by something a fraction of your weight. And I ran out of... Oh, look at that impact. <laughs> look at all the wreckage just floating out in space. Oh, this is amazing. Uh, it's physically pushing me back. Wow. Uh, you know what that calls for, right? Uh, I think the Democritus is in the weight class of a battleship. Let me check real fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I checked. This thing's a battleship. This thing is three weight classes higher than the Trident. And look what the Trident did to it. Look at that damage. It's just, it it got, just... Look, it, it did. It impaled it. You can see right through the ship here, out to, the, out to space on the other side. The Trident is capable of impaling a battleship that's, like, multiple times its weight class. That kicks ass! <laughs> oh, man. All right, that's a good ship. That's it. Looks kind of goofy. It looks a little funny. It looks unusual. But you know what? It is deadly. It is absolutely deadly. And it's still operational. It's still responding to commands. I can still move it around. All the, all the thrusters are tucked in a tight package to the rear of the ship, and there's just thick slabs of heavy armor protecting them. You'd have to shoot through, like, the, the Democritus is still shooting through multiple layers. 
Look at this. It's still responding. I'm out of range. Move back in range. Where's that remote control at? Oh, did they finally kill the remote control? Did I lose the remote control? Yeah, okay, I finally lost the remote control. About time. But, I mean, they've been shooting this thing for minutes now. With, with you know, repeated Gatling cannon fire and rocket fire. I think the rockets are dead. I killed the rockets. But, uh... I, I think the Democritus has been... Oh, check that out. It looks like the power has been cut here. Or the ammunition has been cut. Well, no, we're on creative mode, so I'm not sure why those have stopped responding. For the purposes of me talking and not being moved around constantly, I'm going to delete that turret. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened to those turrets there. They've been knocked out some for one reason or another. Anyway, guys, uh, I think there's only one thing left to do. I will publish the Trident with great satisfaction. Publish. Oh, yeah, I want to publish that. Wait a minute. Did I use any modded blocks in this thing? I don't think I did. Let's publish it. Yes. Yeah, that's an exploration ship. I didn't use any modded blocks in it. There we go. Well, anyway, you guys enjoy that ship, and I'll see you guys next time. That kicked ass. Cello fellow, that one's for you. Enjoy it, man. Until next time, as always, take it easy.